it's already open and it looks yep i already oh, see it's something broken. wrong wow wow that's a it's the finish is better than i thought it would looks be like there's like a sticker right here so uh -huh. thermal pasta on there look how look how just nice and drippy i know is. look how drippy it is nice and runny Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros. And today we got another freaking weird Optiplex for you guys. This one is 24 karat gold, at least it looks like it is. So I'm excited to look at it. So yeah, we found another Optiplex on Amazon. I've seen a couple creators out there found it as well. It comes in gold, it comes in silver. We got it in gold and we're gonna see if this thing is actually as gold as they say it is. But before we open this thing up, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Huge thanks to Athletic Screens for sponsoring today's video. As an editor, I know how important it is to stay focused and on top of my work. That's why I use AG1, a nutritional drink from Athletic Greens. AG1 contains ingredients that are critical for supporting brain focus and productivity, like brain-supporting nutrients and dairy-free probiotics that protect your gut and support your digestive process. Plus, it's lifestyle-friendly with ingredients that are keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, and gluten-free, friendly for all lifestyles. One of the things I love about AG1 is how convenient it is and simple to use. As soon as I get in the office, I mix it up with some water and take it to my desk for my first edits. It's packed with minerals that combat muscle cramps, balance stress, and support a healthy circadian rhythm. Not not to mention it supports my immunity, so I can feel confident that my body is getting the nutrients it needs to stay healthy and strong. AG1 by Athletic Greens is more than a drink. It's a habit that starts my workday right and helps me stay focused and productive. So if you're looking for a convenient, effective way to support your body and performance, give AG1 a try. If you use our link in the description down below, Athletic Greens is offering a one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamins like D3K2 and the five travel packs for free with your first purchase. You can't put a price tag on your health. So big thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. So we are no strangers to modded optimism Plexes, and we have done quite a few ourselves. We've bought probably 10 plus by now with all kinds of different RGB, different upgrades, and even sometimes paint. So I'm excited to see how well this spray paint job, which I'm assuming it is, looks. And I'm also excited to see how we can upgrade it because right now this thing is not designed for gaming. I don't even really get the point of it being all bedazzled in gold when it's kind of just an office PC. Mm -hmm. So we want to make it look and run as well as it looks looks and runs as looks, well as it looks yeah, it's gonna be like it's gonna be absolutely amazing and yeah we paid about 170 bucks for it so you're definitely paying a premium for an i5 which i think they only say is an i5 so probably like a 2400 um but yeah we're gonna slap in a gpu in it so we can actually do some game tests with it but yeah for the most part let's just see what this thing looks like and go from there i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing open so i love we always get the microsoft refurbisher tape which i'm just like do you think they actually you know allowed who this, this? Is from again this is from the other sky tech company all right so i'm gonna lower this down it's a 3020 I really, I hate how they package it already. Broken pieces of styrofoam, which always get everywhere. And like, oh, it actually, keyboard. yeah, it did come with a keyboard. Usually these are like the worst of the worst. Like, yeah, it's the STG. They're just, uh, I don't know. They're just like really light. It's not as actually bad as I remember. So yeah, it's fine. Well, it's time to show up broken. Yeah. It's right. gold. I'm not gonna lie so far. It actually like, looks kind of cool. It actually <laughs> looks kind of crispy. It's like a three dimensional <laughs> glitter paint. We do get a power cord. That is obviously like an older power cord, but that's all good. And our mouse. I really think this can be broken. It's already open and it looks, yep. Our Oh, see it's broken. Wrong. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's not cracked. broken. It's cracked right here. Oh, uh, a little crack. And also like these are sitting at two different height, but I think it's gonna work actually. So good good job getting it mostly <laughs> here to us. But yeah, every single one of these we have bought has had a broken keyboard and, and or mouse. You know, it looks like the computer itself arrived well. Keyboard and mouse, not terrible. We got like a kind of a shrink wrap job over this. Wow. Wow, that's a, it's, the finish is better than I thought it would looks be. Looks like there's like a sticker right here. So uh -huh. you know what? This is a vinyl. Is it a vinyl? Yes, it's a peel on stick because look right here. I can kind of, or like right here. Where oh they yeah, they didn't go all the way to the edge. That makes a lot more sense. Cause I'm like, man, this shit is like three dimensional. Like how is it so crazy? But yeah, it's peel and stick. So that's how it looks so good. They did actually paint the front. This is in fact spray paint and they did a pretty good job on that. Every USB and like ports all masked off. So, I mean, they did a good job on that. You know, that's something I don't even remember if we did when we I'm, I'm trying ours. to like wonder like who would go through the effort to either A, hand do this or come up with like the cuts and everything. Like I'm even shook too, because I'm like, who would, buy these you know but like yeah. people are buying them so i mean i i don't know i'm, I'm just kind of surprised because i'm just like you know let, let's see what we get but for 180 bucks i really would like to see ssd i would like to see a graphics card of some sort dual channel probably 8 to 16 it, gigs it is 16 gigs i remember that and i think yeah. there is an ssd in there so we do have our dvd drive we <laughs> it's have the king fast <laughs> king fast which probably is a 240 i, I appreciate the no hard drive though because that would have been yeah. kind of a deal breaker 512 gigs supposedly okay. it is a cheap 
cheap, cheap uh, two and a half inch SSD. It looks like for RAM, we have absolutely no branding, not even capacity size. SK Hynix um, ICs though, so that's cool. You know, we do have some name brand kind of on it, probably reused ICs. USB 3, so this is going to be third or fourth gen. The power supply is uh, 255 watts, not bad. That'll definitely be plenty for our 6400. Uh, and we're gonna have just enough room. We, we use these all the time, by the way, PC Bros. We often do the 6400 upgrades. But shall we see if they replace the thermal paste? Sure, let's see, because I don't even I know, know what they, I5 it is either. It does. Some of it still has some drip to it, so it almost looks like maybe they started. Because look at this, that's crispy, but then we have some some drips, so they might have tried replacing, but whatever they used looks awful. Probably, yeah, pretty so, bad. But let's see what we 4590, got. 4590, is it? I just guessed. Uh, 4570. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can't complain too much. You know, we get, we get USB 3 support. We actually do have Gen 3 support on the PCIe, which is going to be very important for our graphics card. We have found that if you have like a second gen, like a Lenovo or Optiplex, whatever, and you only have like Gen 2 support on the PCI lane, you lose a lot of performance. Sometimes it won't work at all. So that's something to keep in mind, but let's go ahead and get our new thermal pasta on there. Look how, look how just nice and drippy it is. I know, is. look how drippy it is. Nice and runny. Yeah, and you gotta remember too, like, you know, these systems do boost, you know? So like making sure that you actually have adequate cooling is important. Otherwise that four cores and four threads might only be running at like two gigahertz in your games and you're gonna be like, why is it lagging? It's so bad. And speaking of gaming, as as you can tell, it's not very gaming ready at the not moment at because there's no GPU, but over here on our shelf of surprises, where'd it go? Oh, our shelf of wow. We got a 6400 that we stole from PC Bros. PC Bros. Attack by gaming PC. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing right here. Raw gaming performance is just, it, like it's unbeatable for the price. Yeah. Um, you just you don't don't buy this system expecting like, oh, I'm gonna get into streaming. I mean, it's yeah. just not designed for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand this over to Matt because he's the pro graphics card installer and you guys are gonna see just how to put this in. So if you do get this gold now gaming PC, because we added our touch to it, um, you will get gold in any game that you play. So, mm -hmm. you know, gold rank. Which is a really high, yeah, really it's, high it's, rank. It's so high. Yeah, now you do wanna make sure you get the single lane 6400 because mm -hmm. check out that clearance. We've actually benchmarked probably over a hundred of these now. Um, oh, and to give an idea on the temperature, which we will see. They do run a little toasty. You're gonna see about 95C pretty regularly in games on this card. It is not too hot, it's freaking hot, but it ain't gonna overheat. Yeah, we're gold, we're golden, we're ready to go. I will say too, if you wanna drop about, I think it's like, I think we saw like maybe five degrees Celsius cooler in the GP, you can leave the side panel off too. You could, but, but you know what, gonna, you got this gold, bro. We're all out, yeah. You got gold. All right, let's play Sheesh. some games on this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off with some Overwatch 2, 1920 by 1080. We're at 60 because this is a 60 hertz monitor. But our max frame rate is up. Are we yeah, 100 look plus, look at that. Look at that, we definitely have some some latency. Um, and we're definitely, you can definitely see we're running lower settings, but they've done a good job with Overwatch optimization. So I think it's on good. high settings, actually. Is it? Yeah, oh, it looks so booty wide. Might just be because we're on a 4K monitor. Yeah. We are in high settings and maybe, it, I don't know. I just feel like it's like, it's just screen Terry. Yeah, as we mentioned when we were building this, the uh, 6400 definitely will run a little bit toasty. We're looking at like 86 C87. That's pretty normal for this card. It has a little single fan on it. Um, isn't very like power hungry. So running these temperatures, it's fine in this Optiplex. Yeah. McAllister, you can keep that in. Because we don't make her. All right, 10 gigs of RAM. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah. Good job, but I don't know they're getting rezzed. There we go. Oh, they're, they're killing damage. me faster. Oh my God. I'm just shooting. I'm just shooting. I mean, our Reinhardt's crazy. Yeah, our Reinhardt's kind of caring. So our recording decided to give up on life, but we won the game and it did really well. We averaged like one to 150 FPS on high settings. So we definitely know this is good. Let's go ahead and go to the next game. All right, guys, we're in Warzone. We are on the minimum quality preset. I didn't even know this existed. I was always doing basic, but there's a minimum. And um, yeah, we're uh, not getting great results. I mean, this is a budget PC. The 6400 can barely play Warzone 1080p. You could drop the actual resolution if you wanted to, but I, I have imagined just a quad core playing Warzone, not gonna be a great time. Warzone, a little glitchy. Oh yeah, they're pissed. They're pissed. It's an airstrike. Who, oh, do, I want, who do I want know, to strike you know upon? people here too. Oh, okay. I wonder, um, are you on 1080p full render scale? Yes. I wonder what. 
I wonder what Laura I, 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 I ate that so Dude, I could that. Dude, that really on was him. risky. No hits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh that's a sniper. I don't think that's going to work, but. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Did I set it off? Oh, he went outside. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> We're fighting somebody else. Yep, I hear him like, dying. Oh. That felt like a real person. Uh, that's a robot. Oh, hi. That's. Is that a real person? I think it was. I broke armor. Oh. Ooh. Maybe. Bots, distract him. Oh, no. He's going to melee me. Oh, real oh that's person. a real person. <laughs> oh, just like it. My teammate did it. I can't he, believe these people would play like that. Just you just, just hid there. I saw his laser on the wall, and I was like, okay. But yeah, for the sake of uh, this recording, because I have a feeling I'm going to run around here for a bit and not find anybody, uh, Warzone is not incredibly playable. Um, I mean, I was able to get some kills, so you know what? Get good kids. You mm -hmm. gamers out there with your uh, high-end PCs, I probably just killed you. I just killed you with this PC. What we're going to go ahead and do, run some built-in benchmarks stress this thing to its limits, and then just kind of talk about this little golden child over here, you know? Uh, is it worth it? Should you buy it? Not as bad as we thought it was gonna be. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this little gaming computer. It is a gaming computer now, but obviously when we got it, it was not a gaming PC. We did pay around 170 to 180 after tax. So that is something to keep in mind. I mean, you are paying about, I'd probably say $70, maybe even a little more than I'd normally pay for an Optiplex with these kind of specs. But overall, I mean, with the amount of custom work done, it's not a terrible price. I really think this exists for people like us to buy and make videos. Yeah. I don't know how many people are actually going out of their way to buy this themselves, but if for some reason you absolutely love this golden one or you want to buy one from PC Bros, this one right here will be selling it mm -hmm. over at PC Bros. You can uh, check the links down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. But yeah, upgrading you with the 6400 is a no-brainer option if you want an all new option to get this thing up in gaming. And uh, yeah, as you saw from the benchmarks, it does okay, but it's basically what you expect from an Optiplex. This ain't adding any extra performance. Mm. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now, as Matt mentioned, you will be able to pick up this PC right here over at PCBros.Tech. And if you want to spend a little less and not get all this bling, you just want raw gaming performance, you don't care about looks, we have gaming PC starting around the $215 mark. PCBros.Tech, we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code TOASTYBROS2 on checkout, you will save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace out.